Absolutely. It's like a mother loving her own kids. She treats these kids like it would be her own child. Tell me what you want. Jennifer Christenberry's motto, never do for a child what they can do for themselves. You touch it, not me touch it, you touch it. A lot of times parents are, once they get an initial diagnosis of what's wrong, they see that as the end and we see that as the beginning. Crystal Vaughn and her husband, Bill, hesitantly left their daughter, Georgia, with Miss Christenberry and her staff at Flat Rock Elementary in Anderson County when she was just three. The plan at first was to leave her for a few hours, a couple of days a week. Because we were very leery. Where is it? Didn't take Miss Christenberry very long to earn their trust and Georgia's. If she, there's a new skill set that that maybe our daughter has learned, she'll, she'll send us a quick note saying, hey, Georgia just did this. Like when she first began non-verbally communicating what she wanted on an iPad by touching a card. You tell me, what do you want? You want to change apps? Okay, find the new musician. Where is it? All right. Good job. We don't put any limits on the children. If I have to come one day early to pick her up, she's mad at me for, you know, coming to get her. Here we go. All part of her spirit to be mobile, along with her classmates. We want them to be able to communicate their needs and their wants and make choices because everybody ought to be able to make a choice. Run, run, run. And the latest technology has helped make that possible for many special needs children. 26 years ago, I mean, I had an overhead projector. <laughs> hey, girlfriend, she wouldn't be where she is now because that's how she communicates. It's such a blessing to see um, them grow and know we had a part in it. Come here, baby. Jennifer Christenberry and her staff at Flat Rock Elementary working alongside parents in Anderson District 3 to make what seemed impossible 